Okay, we have our sugar. Let's just keep that in there. Let's grab flour and chocolate. Nothing. What the heck, man? That's that's all the ingredients for brownies. <laughs> Oh, welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to make some improvements on the base, build the larger refiners, build another storage bin, uh, make some more equipment for ourselves, our ship, our exosuit, that sort of thing, uh, get our multi-tool completely set up, and uh, yeah, that's the plan. So, uh, first of all, we need to get some power going here. Do I have carbon on my physical personal bean? I don't. Okay, we're going to have to go out and farm up some carbon. Um, oh yeah, I do. Never mind. Never mind. I was looking at my spaceship. Okay, so let's go over to here. And, oh, and we need to we need to do some more with our power too um, on the base. So here we put some condensed carbon in there. That lasts that lasts for 50 hours though. That's that's very generous. Um, I like that. Is this thing running? It sounds like it's running. Yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, so, you know what, maybe we should mess with the power for, well, no, let's get the storage taken care of first. So what I want to do is I'm going to put the second storage bin here, but I'm going to have to change a couple of things up to get it to fit. So let's go into the build menu here, we'll press C, uh, we need to temporarily get rid of that, and that, and I'm probably going to... We're probably going to end up moving the uh, the teleporter over to here somewhere too, but we don't need to do that right yet. Um, well, if I'm going to do it though, maybe we should do it now. Um, that way, you know, we can get the wiring taken care of. Okay, so we're going to delete that wire there. We're going to delete that wire there and delete this wiring. I have like zero interest in this thing, um, so why don't we delete this, get a little bit of stuff back. I mean, if we ever do mess with our appearance, we can always do that on the space station, so why, why take up space in a small base or something like that? For a bit large base, yeah, it makes sense, but not for a small base. Okay, I'm going to, um, we're going to move this and let's put it in this corner. Now we can put the floors back down here. Make sure it's turned that way and that way. Beautiful. So to make a, another container, we need magnetized ferrite and sodium. So let's hop in here. Grab some sodium out of here and some magnetized ferrite. And we'll make our... Oh, the other thing we got to do is I don't think it'll let us put it in front of that door. And even if it does, does that doesn't make sense. So we need, to, we need to also remove this door. Um, so let's get rid of this. And we'll replace it with just a wall. Uh, which is one of these walls here. Turn it the other way. There we go. Okay. Now... We'll go back to here and grab this and pop it right in place. And as long as we put it right next to it, it just takes the power from the other the other one. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into here. And I'm going to change the name on this. We're going to just call this resources for now until we get more sophisticated storage going. And we're going to call this... Um, we're just going to call this other for now. Okay. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to, this one's going to hold all of the basic ores and resources that we use. You don't know, like oxygen and carbon and ferrite and all that sort of thing. 
and then the other bin I'm gonna put pretty much just everything else in now I don't think I can move it directly from here move and stack yeah I can't move it directly from here into the other container I have to put it into my inventory and then move it from my inventory over to here which is kind of a pain in the butt if there is a, a way to do that let me know guys in the comments but uh, I don't uh, I don't know how to do that so let me get stuff uh, moved over and organized and then I'll bring it back and we'll go from there all right guys I think I got everything organized so in uh, the resources storage container I've got our, our ba more basic resources um, across the top we've got ferrite stuff here copper stuff here carbon stuff uh, sodium stuff oxygen uh, cobalt and dihydrogen actually I think I'm gonna the hydrogen's a little more co common than cobalt uh, we've got silica we got our uh, salt and chlorine and then uh, kind of the more the rarer or, or more valuable stuff along the bottom uh, this we're gonna process these these slimes into nanites um, and then in here I have the whoops went into the same one there here I've got um, components I've got um, where uh, you need this stuff for like diplomacy uh, to get rep with the races I believe um, crafting parts here food stuff here and then what I kind of uh, figure is the more exotic you know types of ores and elements and crafting stuff down there okay so let's see um, let's start by we got a million things to do today let's start by getting um, the larger refiners built so we can do both a medium and a large now um, so that's gonna be chromatic metal sodium nitrate and processor and the medium refiner is magnetized ferrite and dihyde jelly. Okay. The large refiner allows three different substances to be combined into one new material or materials to be processed at better ratios. What does it say for the medium? The medium refiner allows two different substances to be combined into one new material or materials to be processed into variations. Okay, so I'm not so sure. Do we need a medium and a large? I mean, the answer is yes, ultimately, because, well, not necessarily a medium and a large, but multiple larges, I guess. But since this is still considered, I, I still consider this kind of our starter base. Uh, let's not go gung-ho with that so I think what we'll do um does it say okay hold on a sec does this say better ratios yeah it does say better ratios but I think doesn't that only apply if you're combining stuff though I don't know let's let's just build one of each now let's just do it so that way we we can try them both out it's been a while all right so we're gonna need magnetized ferrite and um, I'm gonna just take I mean I have well I do have some here I don't know is that enough though we're gonna we're gonna continue processing this rusted metal so we're gonna have tons and tons of ferrite you know by the time it's all said and done um, let's see how much did it say it needed oh we do okay so we just need to make five dihydrogen jellies gotcha all right let's go into here we got three made up already we'll grab some dihy out of here Only hold 500. Whoops. And we'll go two more of those, and that'll get us our medium refiner. And we'll just set that right here. We could push that back a lot further. Maybe to there. Maybe move it over a little more this way, too. Yeah, that works. 
You know what, though? Seems to me like it's backwards. Shouldn't the other side be in the front? Yeah, I wonder why it placed it facing away from me. That's weird. Uh, let's go into this view, too, just so we can see what we're doing a little bit better here. It starts to clip right there. And I think we want to turn it like this. Maybe move it over a little more. We're not going to have room for the large over here anyways, unless we move the teleporter again. All right. Uh, we're going to need to get power to that. You know, maybe we should, we're not, maybe we should just move this over and that way we can put the big one so they're all in a row. That's what we'll do. Alright, let's get into camera mode here. Turn this this way. Make sure it's square with the floor. Pretty close. And that's good right there. Okay, now the next thing we... Well, no, let's get the large refiner made, and then we have to work on power. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so what do we need for the large refiner? 200 chromatic metal, 200 sodium nitrate, and a microprocessor. We already have four microprocessors. Um, where... Oh, I got those in my inventory already. Okay, so what do we need for another microprocessor? Uh, we need more chromatic metal and a carbon nanotube. Okay, so let's grab some carbon out of here. And we'll grab all the chromatic metal that we currently have. Uh, I'm going to have to go hit some copper. Yes, indeed. I'm going to have to go mine up some copper. This is um, activated copper, so that isn't going to work for us. At least I don't think it will. <laughs> um, what happens if you put activated copper? I'm not actually going to do this because it doesn't make sense. But I just want to see what it does if I put it in there. Oh, actually, okay, so this gives us a one-to-one -one ratio. And there is a planet in this system that has activated copper if we needed to go get more. So maybe this does make sense to do. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to need to get some carbon out of here. <clears throat> Wait a minute, hold on. Let me just double check that. If we go to discoveries and we go to um how do we get to the system? Oh, do we have to be up in space to see the system? Catalog and guide. Log options. Because this is just showing us the planet. Huh. That's weird. Okay, well, I am I know we did because I got this activated copper in the system. So I know it's here. But we're just going to... We're going to run with this. The nice thing about the portables, though, is they don't require power. But these are much more capable. Okay, so... Uh, what were we doing? We were going to get some... Let's get some condensed carbon out of here. Technology yeah, one-to-one -one ratio. That's good. Okay, because it's a two-to-one if you use normal copper. So, now, uh, we needed to make another microprocessor. Uh, no, we need to make carbon nanotubes. Which we need normal carbon for. Okay, now we'll make our fifth microprocessor. And now we're just wait, waiting for chromatic metal to build the large refiner. So we're going to need 200 chromatic metal. All right, I'll bring you guys back. I've got, oh, I've got plenty of sodium nitrate. I'll bring you guys back when that is done. And we'll get the large refiner down. And then we have to work on some power situation. Okay, so we should have everything 
we need to make the large refiner. Is that also Bass Ackwards? It looks like it is. But it's really weird why they do it that way. Okay, make sure it's square. It is. And we'll just kind of put it right about here. Okay. Large refiner. Very nice. This gives us two inputs for one output, and this gives us three inputs for one output. Very nice. Okay, now, next thing we need to do is we need to get some power going. We do have one solar panel up there. Um, let's take care of the wiring first. And I'd like to... What I might ultimately do is put more of these white lights along the wall. And I think that just requires sodium. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's just grab some sodium here. try and make these level so it's just a little bit below that bottom lip there put one there one there and one there and maybe one Now, let's grab our wiring tool, and I want, let's see if we can clean this up a little bit. So, we want to go into, oh, we have to be in this mode to do, how come it's not changing mode? There, now it is. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Go back into camera mode. Okay, now, delete that and delete that. Go back to build mode. for wiring. Okay. So I want this to be nice and level. I'm going to come up to about there. And we needed to come over just a little bit further than that. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> That's close enough. I don't want to spend all day on this. Okay, so that gives us some light along our crafting wall. Um, now, can we just wire there to... Oh, wait a minute. Are these not electrical power? Can we also put fuel in here? No, they, they gotta be powered. So why wasn't that wire connecting into it? I'm confused, man. Oh, they don't require... Wait a minute, though. Do they not require power at all? Alright, let's... Here, let's, let's try something. Uh, 
Oh, we can't. <clears throat> we can't double up like that. Okay. Oh, look at that. They don't require power at all. They must have their own internal nuclear thingamadoodle. All right. Fair enough. That's better. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get all of this rusted metal um, processed because uh, it's just taking up space. Plus, it's going to give us a bunch of ferrite dust. Oh, that's nifty. Okay. I like that. I like that. My lights aren't perfectly even, but you know what? It's okay. Maybe even if I look at this some more. Um, let's even put one... Ish. Why did that just? What? No! Don't do that! Don't be doing that! I didn't do that. It just happened. Um, let's put one right about here. -ish. It's not gonna be perfectly spaced, but it'll do. Okay, and then we're just gonna need to. What? Why does it keep popping me out of the menu? <laughs> Stop it! Okay, go into wiring mode. Get into camera mode. No, that's not the right way to do that. Let's go to here. Game. That makes no sense. Why pop me out of the building mode when I'm not ready for you to pop me out of it? Is that a bug? It's frustrating is what it is. Okay. Delete. Delete. Now, talk of wiring. Go in here to here, and here to here. Okay. I'm just trying to see if it's, if it's going to pop me out again. Now it's not. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't put I put that up too high. Okay, we gotta fix it, otherwise it's gonna bug me. Okay, you know what? It's not perfectly straight, but it's it's not so bad that in my peripheral vision it's an eyesore. So you need probably more fuel. That's actually fantastic that, that these don't require fuel. Okay, and then just continue on. Now, I wonder if we can change the ratio if we add more stuff. Like, aren't you supposed to be able to add oxygen to these and get better ratios? Stop processing. But right now we have a 1 to 2. We put O2 in there. Oh, it doesn't let me do it. Does it matter what position it's in? Huh. -uh. Maybe it's because this is junk and it's not the actual broken down element, I guess. Okay. That stopped. Make sure the, each one of these are full. That was full. That's full enough. Okay, good. 
Next thing is power. Uh, well, no, actually, well, we still do need to do, we need to at least put one battery in up, up above. So what do we need for that? Uh, battery, here we go. We have everything we need for that. Okay, so because we have, we put that one solar panel up there. And you you need to, to have batteries hooked up to it. Otherwise, it doesn't do anything at nighttime. All right, so let's grab a battery here. And I want to try and get it somewhat straight in with that. Let's back up. We're going to camera mode. to this, to there, and then we want this wire connected to there. That way it's on the grid. Wait, did it connect though? Yeah, I think so. It's not straight, but we're going to live with it. Okay, so now we've added the solar power and the battery uh, to our tiny little grid here. And uh, since these don't require power, we're, we're good to go. And just looking at the progress of the three, it seems like they're all, all three of them are the same speed in terms of, you know, how fast the process. So, all right, very good. Let's see, what is the next thing on the agenda? We still have a lot of stuff to do. Um, if we, 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 bar we purchased a trade, tr wait, did we do the trade terminal? I don't remember now. Did we? Trade terminal. That would probably be in, in here if we got it, right? Well, not necessarily. Oh, maybe I didn't get the trade terminal. Uh, an autonomous mining unit. We could go throw that down on... <clears throat> A copper deposit because we're very low on copper and we also have this nutrient processor for making food I think so let's do this next metal plating and a hermetic seal hermetic seal we need I think it said we need two of those okay so let's go here grab the nutrient processor Oh, two metal plates. Gotcha. I must have got that bass backwards. That's right. We're going to need hermetic seals for other things. Okay, we'll put this here. Now, does this require power? Interesting. Okay, so let's go into here now <clears throat> and we'll grab some wheat, peas, and pulpy roots. That makes flour. That makes sense. That makes nothing. Oh, so do we have to first refine these into their first stage? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you can't combine raw stuff together. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's cool. <laughs> I love it. All right. Let's let that do its thing. Um, now, let's go ahead and do the autonomous mining unit. So... We need uh, two more metal plating and an ion battery. I need cobalt and ferrite dust for that.
have any metal, more metal plating in there. Okay, so we need two metal platings. Let's put this hermetic seal back in here now. Well, I'm sure we'll need it again for something later on. Alright, let's go into here. We'll pull this out. Um, and we'll put this in. Root juice. Okay. I wonder, does this stuff spoil? We'll have to, we'll have to find out. Alright, now. Do we have everything to make the autonomous mining unit? Yes, we do. Alright, let's go jump on our spaceship. And find a nearby copper thingy. I want F. Okay. What's that? Silver? Silver. Silver. We got lots of silver. We might as well go grab that while we're out and about. Alright, I don't see any more copper close by. Let's go just get this now. I don't want to fly down here and then land because then we you expend fuel. Weapon charge depleted. Oh. Um yeah, I don't normally I would use sand, but okay. Okay, we'll get another one of those, because we're going to crack those open, too, at some point in this episode. That's the plan, anyway. Let's go back to the ship. Okay, so let's just find the closest copper deposit. They're usually pretty easy to spot from the air. I don't think this scanner shows copper. I think that just does buildings. We do have a marked building here. Might as well check it out. Oh, there's a dude down here. Operator Entity Nazils. Life form greets me politely but seems preoccupied. The task that brought them out here, whatever that might be, is demanding of their attention. They are eager to return to work. Okay. Let's grab this. Get some more nanites. Get some more data. And uh, with these. Okay, let's get our scanner out. That's a silver. That is a paraffinium. Silver. 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 Paraffinium. Copper, right there. Alright. I don't know if I'm supposed to do anything more with that dude or not. Okay, so I guess we just take this and put it right here. Oh, it takes fuel. Of course it takes fuel. 
There it goes. I'm just curious what the ratio, the fuel burn ratio is to the copper. Hopefully it can get a whole 250 before it runs out of fuel. That means it has to have a minimum of a two and a half ratio. I'm sure it does. Yeah, that's about exactly what it has, I would say. Okay, cool. So yeah, we'll come back after this gets 250. I presume we could probably put multiples of these on a deposit, maybe? I don't know. We'll have to try that out later. Very good, we got that done. So many things to do, ladies and gentlemen, so many things to do. Um, all right, let's go back to the base. Now, next thing we're gonna do is, um, Nice, we got flour. And we have root juice. Let's go ahead and put in that next. Bittersweet co cocoa. Nice, okay. Get a little bit of chocolate action going. Okay, let's do another batch of ferrite dust. Same thing here. Okay, looks like our chocolate's done. Now, what happens if we put flour and uh, chocolate in together. Nothing. We can't make fudge or brownies. <laughs> um, what happens if we put root juice, flour, and chocolate in together? Nothing. Okay, so apparently the game wants us to experiment with that to figure out different recipes, and of course I can always wiki that too. Uh, but I might, I might try and figure some of it out first before I get cheaty with it. But it's not that big of a deal to me one way or the other is a thing. So um, we still need to put uh, this stuff in too. Oh, that makes sugar. Nice. That makes sense. Ooh, sugar, flour, chocolate. That could be space brownies. We'll have to try that. All right, now, um, when those guys are finished, we're gonna mess around with trying to process some of this slime, because like, we can turn it into nanites, but I know we gotta run it through several times. But I've heard it's actually, uh, some people I think anyways, it's not really worth the effort, but we'll try it at least once so we can say that we did. Let me put a few things back here, and then we're gonna crack open all these glowing minerals and see what kind of goodies we get. Okay, we have our sugar. Let's just keep that in there. Let's grab flour and chocolate. Nothing. What the heck, man? That's that's all the ingredients for brownies. <laughs> well, not all of them, but okay. Yeah, we'll mess with this more later. Okay, next next thing on the agenda. Um, let's grab all the rest of the ferrite out of here. Well, let it, let it finish with the ferrite, I should say. Um, I think I'm gonna put the rest of these in here too, so we're not using more fuel. Okay, that finally takes care of all the rest of the metal I've been carrying around forever and ever. Put the 
ferrite in here. Okay, next thing. Uh, we're going to crack open all of these glowing minerals and see what we get. Okay, so we got all that stuff. Um, that's worth 150000 on its own, so that's really valuable. The rest of this stuff is not quite as valuable. Geodesite. Okay, so let's move all of these into here. Now, I know we can... I know that it's, in some cases, it's worth it to uh, put these into the refiner, and in other cases, it's not. And I, I don't, I don't think we can t tell that without actually doing it and experimenting. Um, so we'll have to, and again, I could wiki it, but I don't, you know, I want to have fun discovering things, so... Oh, actually, though, you know what? Does it tell us that in the catalog? Because it said it added, like, the hair rocks, for example, to the catalog. So, materials and items? Hair rocks. Here we go. Uh, no, that's gold nugget. Raw materials core. Where do I find Herox? It's right here. It said I discovered it, but I did. It says used for crafting, upgrading, and trading. Hmm. Oh, it wants me to. It. Oh, okay, so it tells me how to make it here. Interesting. I, I kind of want to do this the other way around, though. I want to know cooking recipes. We we don't know any cooking recipes yet. Um, I want to see what it breaks down to, not how to make it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to sample one of each of these. Split is C. I already, I already know that it's, well, actually, I guess I don't remember that. So here, we'll, we'll do that. We only have one iridescite. One dirty bronze. I don't think, I don't think we can do anything with that, but we'll try it anyways. One of these and pugnium. I, I think pugnium can be... Uh, melt it down to nanites too, but we want to save the pug name itself because we need it for crafting. Okay, so let's grab uh, our, well not quite done yet. Alright, so this is worth 150,000 units by itself. But it will craft down into platinum. The question is, will it craft down... It, it crafts down into 250 platinum. Okay. Do I have 250 platinum? I do. Alright, cool. So we can figure this out without having to commit to it. Oh, no, I can see this already. I have 298 platinum, which is only worth 150,000. So, already, you don't want to break these down. Okay, that is very good to know. So, let's take input... Uh, no, actually, what we'll do is we'll take and put this into... Well, it is also used for crafting, though. So, I think we're going to just hang on to it as it is, but we will never smelt this down because it's much more valuable by itself. Okay, so we'll put that in that slot. All right, now let's try the next thing. Uh, so this is a Herox. It's worth 25,000 units, and that will smelt down into 250 silver. Okay. 
250 silver if we split that in two and then go okay so 251 silver is 46,000 and that's 25,000 okay so Herox is most definitely worth breaking down at least from uh, if you're just using it for money but again we need this for crafting too so I'm not inclined to break it down necessarily for now I'm gonna keep it I'd rather keep the crafting items than use them for money because we have other ways to make money but this is still an interesting you know for science kind of thing right okay so this is granite it's worth 25,000 and it'll smelt down into uh, 125 gold. All right, how much is 125 gold? Let's um grab this and then change stack size to 121. Okay, 121 gold is 47,000. Oh yeah, this is definitely worth breaking down. Uh, but again, it's also required for crafting, so we'll hang on to it for now. But we're learning. So if you're purely doing this for money, then Herox and Granite are definitely worth breaking down. This Geodesite is... you don't want to break it down. No sir, Bob. Okay, let's try the next thing. Mang Magno Gold. Okay, that's worth 25,000 by itself. And it breaks down to 125,000 gold, which I think was 47 something, wasn't it? We just looked at that, but my brain lost track of it. Yeah, okay, so Mag Magno Gold is worth breaking down if you're doing it for money. But again, we'll save it for crafting purposes. Crafting, refining, trading. Nope, wrong one. This one. Okay, so we've checked all of those so far. What's next? A gold nugget straight up. stack size. Okay, so one gold nugget. Oh, one gold nugget doesn't refine at all. That's right. We have to crack this one open. Alright, so... So this by itself is worth 3280 If we crack it open, it is now worth 7413 and it doesn't look like the gold nuggets are used as nuggets themselves. You just basically make it into gold. So by cracking these open, you basically double the value of them. All right, well, then definitely want to crack those open. Here. What's next? An ir iridescite. Okay, so that will break down into 250 platinum. But this thing by itself is worth 150,000. I think that's much more valuable than 250 platinum. Well, actually, okay, hold on. 150,000. 298 is 150,000. So it's not much more valuable, but it's a little more valuable. So that means we don't want to break down iridescite for money. Man, I wish you wouldn't do that. I'm looking at this one. Okay, next we have aronium. Or 
Rhodium is worth 25,000 units and it breaks down to 250 silver. So 271 silver is 50,000. And that was that was 250 silver, right? Not 125. Yeah, okay, definitely worth breaking down aronium for money. And does aronium is aronium used straight up? Yes, crafting, refining, trading. So we don't want to break it down. But uh, we have learned. And then now we have um, dirty bronze. Let's see what that is. That breaks down to 250 silver. It's the same thing. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get more if we break this down into silver. Because it's 25,000 on its own. Whereas 250 silver is almost twice that. Okay. Good. Put those there. So, so far, um, these are the two that you don't want to break down, and everything else is worth breaking down so far. If, again, you need the, mater the raw materials or you're, you're doing it for cash. Okay, let's try this thingy. So a crystal sulfide by itself is worth 7,000, 7,400. Uh, and it breaks down into 50 sodium nitrate. Okay, so what is 50 sodium nitrate worth? Oh, I guess I could have done it this way. Okay, 50 sodium nitrate is worth... 4,100. Um, versus, it was 7,000, right? Okay, so you do not want to break down crystal sulfide. All right. That was worth a worthwhile extra exercise in science there. Uh, because now we have learned uh, about these different minerals in terms of their breakdown value. I don't think this can break down, but let's just see what happens. I'm wrong about that. That can break down. Okay, so this is worth 4,700, but it breaks down into 100 gold. I'm pretty sure the gold's going to be more valuable. Oh, yeah. I mean, here, let's just actually do it. Okay, 100 gold is worth... 35,000. Oh man, that's a really good return. But here again, living pearls are used for crafting. But we're going to hang on to it nonetheless. And then finally, we got this hypnotic eye thingy. Okay, it is worth 57,000. And it breaks down into 50 living slime. Right? Yeah, 50. Okay. I have a feeling like the eye is worth a lot more, but maybe not. Let's see. So let's take this living slime. In fact, we're going to we're going to do this next anyways. But 50 living slime is worth only 1000. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the eye itself is definitely worth a lot more, and it is used for crafting. So we will hang on to it. Put that over there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that takes care of all that. The last thing we're going to do in this episode, um, this is this is taking a lot longer. I I'm, I'm, I always think I'm going to get more done in these episodes than I do, but you know what? It's all it's fun and definitely worthwhile. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I'm really enjoying playing it. Oh, you know what? We didn't look at the album in Pearl. Can that be broken down? 
No, it can't. I think that these are strictly for selling. Okay. Um. All right. Now, I don't think we can... Can we combine all these slimes at the same time? We want to get to this runaway mold in order to make the nanites. It's probably not going to let us... Yeah, it's not going to let us do it that way. Okay, so let's get this going. And we'll get this going. And we'll go ahead and just use this too so we can... I might even make some more medium refiners. Uh, what do I need? I need this. Okay, so I think this turns into, oh, that turns into viscous fluid. All right, what is this? So this probably turns into living slime. Okay. All right, here's the deal. I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm going to break all these slimes down in, until they're all broken down into runaway mold. When that is done, I'll bring you guys back and I'll show you how many nanites we're going to get out of that. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, everybody, we're back, and uh, we're ready to see how many nanites we're going to get from the runaway mold. As you can see, I went ahead and crafted two more medium refiners, so for a total of three, uh, because it didn't make sense for me to keep using the portable and keep burning carbon uh, when we basically can run these guys for free. Uh, so we have three mediums and one large, and, you know, eventually, especially in our ultimate base, we'll probably just have nothing but large, but this is fine for now. Okay, so we have a total of, in our inventory, um, 1,300 and change of runaway mold. So if we put 500 of these in here, that only gives us 50 nanites. Really? Wow. Okay. Um... Okay, for all of the time that it took me to break all those slimes down, I definitely do not feel like this is worth the effort for only 50 nanites. I mean, well, no, we're going to get more than 50, but you know what I'm saying, right? So here, let's go here. Okay, so, so basically, that's going to give us 200 nanites in total. And then we still have another 55, 60 left after that. For the amount of effort it took to, A, have three different types of slime take up our inventory for so long, B, have to go through three breakdown stages, uh, no, four breakdown stages if you if you count breaking down the mold into the actual nanites. So this is definitely not worth it in my opinion. So moving forward, we're going to take slime and dump it on the ground. I'm not messing with it. Maybe we might hang on to living slime. Because that will only take up one inventory slot and that can go directly to nanites. But I just don't feel like, I definitely don't feel like it's worth it to go through the full process. Um... So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you take the time to break down these slimes or not? It just doesn't seem like it's worth the effort, considering how long it took, you know, to do all of that. So, oh, did I forget to start that? I did. Look at me. Look at me, my silly self. Okay, so, yep, yeah, that, is, that is my own personal conclusion, and I know that that is also the conclusion that many other people have come to too just you know from watching some other youtube videos and stuff so yeah there you go all right you guys we're gonna wrap up this episode here and uh, we still have a lot more to do um i have not lost sight of the fact that we want to get out and continue exploring the stars we definitely are going to do that uh, what, what i just want to do is i want to get both myself and this little base 
into a um, into you know where it is functional and you know for us to use so we can always come back here use the refiners that sort of thing um, we have some more upgrades to do for our exo craft for our starship for our multi-tool and it's my intention you know to get all of that done in the next episode and then hopefully the episode after that we can set out and start doing some more exploring so with that being said thank you everybody for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share on the video loud neighbors and we'll catch you in the next one bye bye